Hello everybody! Today we're exploring the Aztec gods, key to understanding the rich Aztec culture. From creation to daily life, these deities shaped an entire civilization. Are you ready to delve into the stories of these powerful figures? Well then, let's get started. Atlacoya Atlacoya is a deity of drought and barrenness, often depicted as a stark, gaunt figure with sunken eyes, embodying the harshness of the dry lands. She is a reminder of the precarious balance between abundance and desolation, highlighting the dependence of the Aztec people on the whims of nature for their survival. Legends say Atlacoya could withhold the rains, causing crops to fail and water sources to dry up. A stark role that emphasizes her power to bring suffering and hunger to the world as a warning against taking the bounty of the earth for granted. Zinteatl Zinteatl, the god of maize, is central to Aztec life, representing the sustenance and fertility of the earth. Often depicted with golden or yellow hues symbolic of the maize cob, he is a figure of abundance and nourishment. Legends around Zinteatl highlight his importance in the cycle of life, death and rebirth, as maize was the staple crop of the Aztecs. His role extends beyond mere fertility, embodying the connection between the people and the life-giving forces of nature, ensuring the continuation of life and civilization itself. Chalchihuitlique Chalchihuitlique, the goddess of water, lakes, rivers and the sea, is depicted in shades of blue and green adorned with jade and shells, symbolizing her domain over all bodies of water. She is the embodiment of both the nurturing and destructive aspects of water, capable of bringing life through rain and nourishing crops, but also capable of causing floods and destruction. Her legends often involve acts of protection and provision for the Aztec people, as well as reminders of the respect and reverence due to the natural world for its bounty and its power. Chantico Chantico, the goddess of hearth fires and volcanoes, is depicted wearing a crown of red chili peppers, symbolizing the fire she governs. She protects the home and its inhabitants, ensuring the flame of the hearth never dies, a crucial aspect of daily life and survival. Her legends tell of her fierce protection over her domain, and her role extends to embodying the warmth of family and community, as well as the potential destructiveness of fire reflecting the dual nature of her influence. Chicomicoatl Chicomicoatl, the goddess of maize and fertility, is often depicted with her hair flowing wide, adorned with red flowers and holding a double ear of maize, signifying her role as a provider of sustenance and abundance. She represents the cycle of life, growth and the nurturing aspects of nature. Her festivals involve offerings of maize and flowers, celebrating her generosity and praying for continued abundance. Chico Mikuatl's legends emphasize her importance in sustaining life and the gratitude owed to her by the Aztec people. Coatlicue Coatlicue, the mother of gods and goddess of the earth, is depicted as a fearsome figure, wearing a skirt of writhing snakes and a necklace of human hearts, hands and skulls, symbolizing the cycle of life and death. She is both a creator and a destroyer giving birth to the moon, stars, and Huitzilopochtli, the god of the sun and war. Her legends highlight the interconnectedness of creation and destruction, life and death, illustrating the belief in the cyclical nature of existence and the power of motherhood in shaping the cosmos. Koyolshuki Koyolshuki, the moon goddess, is famously depicted in the monumental stone disc found at the base of the Templo Maya in Tenochtitlan, showing her dismembered body. This image represents her defeat by Huitzilopochtli, symbolizing the triumph of the sun over the moon and darkness. Her legend explains the phases of the moon and serves as a metaphor for the eternal struggle between day and night, light and darkness, reminding the Aztecs of the ever-present battle between cosmic forces. Cuauhtémoc Cuauhtémoc, though historically remembered as the last Aztec emperor who valiantly resisted the Spanish conquest, is revered almost to the status of deity in the collective memory of Mexico. His name, meaning descending eagle, symbolizes strength and resilience in the face of adversity. While not a god in the traditional Aztec pantheon, his legacy is imbued with the spirit of resistance, embodying the enduring will 
and sovereignty of the Aztec people. His depiction in post-conquest narratives often elevates him to a martyr-like figure, representing the ultimate sacrifice for one's land and culture. Erecatl Erecatl, the god of wind, plays a pivotal role in Aztec mythology as the bringer of life and the mover of the sun across the sky. Often depicted with a beak-like mask, symbolizing his influence over the air, Erecatl's presence was believed to be essential for pollination and the propagation of life. His legends include the tale of breathing life into the dead, illustrating his vital role in the cycle of life and death. As the god of wind, Erecatl also had the power to bring about change, clearing paths and heralding new beginnings. Weiweiteotl Weiweiteotl, the ancient old god of fire, is often depicted as an elderly figure carrying a brazier on his back, symbolizing the eternal flame of life and the wisdom of age. He is one of the oldest deities in the Aztec pantheon, representing both the destructive and purifying aspects of fire. His role encompasses the concept of renewal and the cyclical nature of time, reminding the Aztecs of the importance of balance and respect for the natural elements. Weiweiheotl Weiweiheotl, the old coyote, is the trickster god of music, dance and mischief. Often depicted as a coyote or a man with coyote features, he embodies the unpredictable nature of life, using humour and cunning to teach lessons. His tales often involve pranks, or lessons designed to humble the proud or lift the spirits of the downtrodden, highlighting the dual nature of existence and the need for joy amidst adversity. Wixtocoatl Wixtocoatl is the goddess of salt and salt water, sister to the rain gods, the Tlaloke. She is depicted adorned with the elements of the sea, such as shells and seaweed, symbolizing her domain over the oceans and the essential mineral of salt. Her role was crucial in the Aztec economy and cuisine, with her legends underscoring the importance of the natural resources provided by the sea. Festivals in her honor celebrated the abundance of salt, essential for food preservation and seasoning. Huitziapochtli Huitziapochtli, the sun god and patron deity of the Aztecs, is depicted as a fearsome warrior clad in armor, carrying a shield and a spear tipped with obsidian. He represents the triumph of light over darkness, guiding the Aztecs to their promised land, Tenochtitlan. His birth story, involving the miraculous defeat of his sister Coyolxorqui and her 400 brothers, underscores his role as the supreme protector of the Aztec people, requiring human sacrifices to ensure the sun's journey across the sky. Ilamatikutli Ilamatikutli, the Old Mother or Great Goddess, is associated with fertility, death and rebirth. She is often depicted as a crone, embodying the wisdom and experience of age, overseeing the cycles of life that include both creation and destruction. Her legends emphasize the respect and reverence owed to the forces of nature and the ancestors, symbolizing the interconnectedness of life and the ancestral heritage that shapes the present and future. It's Papelotl. It's Papelotl, the obsidian butterfly, is a fearsome warrior goddess associated with the stars, particularly the Titsimime, celestial demons that threatened to devour the world during eclipses. She is depicted with claws and wings adorned with obsidian, symbolizing her deadly nature and her role as a protector against the darkness. Her legends tell of her ferocity in battle and her ability to transform, reflecting the transformative power of conflict and the potential for rebirth through destruction. Ishil. Ishil is the goddess of fertility, childbirth, medicine and weaving. Often depicted with a jaguar pelt or earthenware pot, she symbolizes the nurturing aspects of womanhood and the natural world. As a deity of childbirth and medicine, Ishel was venerated by pregnant women and healers who sought her protection and wisdom. Her association with weaving also emphasizes the creation and maintenance of life and the fabric of society. Ishlatan Ishlatan, the god of healing, medicine and festivities, is often shown as a joyful figure, embodying the pleasures of life and the importance of health. He was invoked by those seeking cures for illnesses and protection against epidemics. 
Eastleton's role in festivities and celebrations underscores the belief in the healing power of joy and communal gatherings. Malinalxochitl Malinalxochitl is a deity whose dominion encompasses the more enigmatic and often overlooked creatures of the desert, snakes, scorpions and various insects. She is also associated with witchcraft and herbs, and is remembered for her knowledge of the magical and medicinal properties of plants. Legends depict her as a powerful figure, capable of both healing and hexing, reflecting the dual nature of her knowledge. She symbolises the respect and caution with which the Aztecs approach the natural world's potent and mysterious forces. Mayoel Mayoel is the goddess of maguey and the inventor of pulque, an alcoholic beverage. She is depicted cradling the maguey plant, representing fertility and sustenance. Her story intertwines with the creation of pulque, highlighting the cultural and spiritual significance of this drink in Aztec society as a gift from the gods that brings people together and blurs the boundaries between the sacred and the profane. Metzli Metzli is the deity of the moon, often depicted in relation to the night and feminine energy. Representing the cyclical nature of time and the mysteries of the night, Metzli's influence extends over fertility, growth and the tides. The moon's phases symbolise the eternal cycle of death and rebirth, a reminder of the impermanence of life and the constant pressure of change. Mictlanticutli Mictlanticutli is the god of the dead and the underworld, Mictlan. He is depicted as a skeletal figure, adorned with owl feathers and a necklace of human eyeballs, symbolising his dominion over death and the afterlife. As ruler of the underworld, Mictlanticutli presided over the souls of the deceased, guiding them through their journey in the afterlife. His role was to ensure the balance between the living world and the realm of the dead, a crucial aspect of the Aztec understanding of mortality and the cycle of life. Mictacasiwatl Mictacasiwatl, known as the Lady of the Dead, is the wife of Mictanticutli and the co-ruler of the underworld. She is depicted as a skeletal figure, representing her role in overseeing the bones of the dead. Mictacasiwatl's duty was to watch over the souls of the deceased and preside over the ancient festivals of the dead, which have evolved into the modern Day of the Dead. Her presence reminded the living of the continuity between life and death, and the importance of honouring ancestors. Mishtkoatl Mishtkoatl, the god of the hunt, stars and the Milky Way, is often depicted carrying a bow and arrows, adorned with the skins of his prey. As a patron of hunters, Mishtkoatl symbolises the skills and virtues necessary for survival, such as stealth, strength and the ability to navigate the wilderness. His association with the stars also connects him to the cosmos, highlighting the belief in the interconnectedness of celestial events and human affairs. Omakatl Omakatl is a god associated with feasting and festivities, embodying the joy and social cohesion brought about by communal gatherings. While specific depictions of Omakatl are less common, his role in Aztec society underscores the importance of celebration and ritual in maintaining community bonds and ensuring social harmony. Festivities dedicated to Omakatl would involve feasting, dancing, and sacrifices to honour the gods and foster unity among the people. Ometeotl Ometeotl is the dual god representing the essence of duality in the universe, encompassing male and female aspects as Ometikutli and Ometiwotl. This deity symbolises the origin of all life and the balance of opposing forces, such as light and darkness, chaos and order, or life and death. Ometiotl resides in Omeyakan, the highest heaven, and is often depicted as an androgynous figure, embodying the unity and balance that governs the cosmos. The worship of Ometiotl emphasises the holistic view of the universe, where all elements are interconnected and essential for harmony and balance. Apochtli Apochtli, the god of fishing and hunting, is depicted as a figure associated with the marshlands and waterways, carrying tools of his trade such as nets and fishing rods. As a patron of fishermen and hunters, Apochtli provided guidance in the sustainable harvest of aquatic resources, 
emphasising the importance of respecting and conserving the natural world. His role highlights the Aztecs' reliance on the environment for sustenance and the cultural practice that ensured ecological balance and resource abundance. Paticatl Paticatl is the god of healing and fertility, often depicted with medicinal plants. He is a patron of doctors and healers, symbolising the healing properties of nature and the importance of health and well-being. Paticatl's knowledge encompasses the medicinal uses of plants and herbs, emphasising the value of traditional medicine in Aztec society. Piltzindicutli Piltzindicutli, the god of the rising sun, healing and visions, is often depicted as a youthful figure, symbolising the dawn and new beginnings. He is associated with the healing aspects of sunlight and the visionary experiences that can guide and enlighten. Piltzindicutli's role involves bringing light and clarity, marking the transition from darkness to illumination. Quetzalcoatl Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, is one of the most important deities, associated with wisdom, wind and the creation of mankind. He is depicted as a serpent adorned with precious feathers, symbolising his dual nature as earth and sky. Quetzalcoatl's legends involve his efforts to bring a knowledge and civilization to humanity, including the gift of maize. He embodies the pursuit of knowledge and the balance between the material and spiritual worlds. Quiahutel Quiahutel, the god of rain, is often depicted with water symbols and associated with fertility and agriculture. His role is crucial for the growth of crops and the replenishment of water sources, making him a deity of vital importance for the Aztec's survival. Quiahutl embodies the life-giving aspects of water and the natural cycles that sustain life. Texisticatl Texisticatl, the moon god, is often depicted carrying a large shell, symbolising his role as the light of the night. He was initially a god of snails and shells before becoming associated with the moon. Texisticatl's story involves his transformation into the lunar body, reflecting themes of sacrifice and the importance of light in the darkness. Tepeyalotl Tepeyalotl, heart of the mountain, is depicted as a jaguar leaping from the earth, symbolising earthquakes and echoes. He embodies the raw power of nature and the earth's deep, unseen forces. Tepeyalotl's role is to remind the Aztecs of the might of the natural world, and the need for respect and reverence towards it. Tezcali Poker Tezcali Poker, or Smoking Mirror, is a powerful god of the night sky, fate and providence, often depicted with a mirror that signifies his ability to see everything. He is a complex deity associated with magic, war and governance, embodying the unpredictable and often adversarial aspects of fate. Tezcalipoca's legends highlight his rivalry with Quetzalcoatl and his role in the cosmic balance, representing the darker, more mysterious forces at work in the universe. Claues Calpanticuli Claues Calpanticuli is the god of the morning star, Venus, representing the dawn and the new day. He is depicted wielding arrows to shoot down the night, clearing the path for the sun. His role is dual, embodying both the promise of the dawn and the dangers of hubris, as myths recount his attempt to challenge the sun and his subsequent downfall. Cloes Calpanticuli's tale serves as a reminder of the natural order and the cycles of the cosmos. Tlaloc Tlaloc, the god of rain, water and fertility, is one of the most revered and ancient deities. He is depicted with goggle-eyed masks and fangs, symbolising his dominion over the elements and his role as a bringer of life and also a harbinger of storms and floods. Tlaloc's worship involved ceremonies and sacrifices to ensure the rains came to nourish the earth, reflecting his crucial role in agriculture and the sustenance of life. Tlaltecutli Tlaltecutli is the earth goddess represented as a monstrous entity with a gaping mouth symbolising the Earth's devouring and regenerative powers. Myths describe her as being split by the gods to create the Earth and the sky, highlighting themes of sacrifice and creation. Tlaltecutli's image reminds the Aztecs of the Earth's fertility and its demand for respect and offerings, embodying the cycle of life that comes from death. 
Tlaza Teotl. Tlaza Teotl, the goddess of filth and purification, embodies the dualities of sin and absolution. She is often depicted in a squatting position giving birth, symbolizing the cleansing process of confession and renewal. Tlaza Teotl's role as a deity who absolves sins underscores the importance of moral balance and the belief in redemption through confession and atonement, offering a pathway back from the brink of spiritual decay. Tosi Tosi, our grandmother, is a deity associated with healing, fertility, and also considered an aspect of the Earth Mother. She is depicted wearing traditional healer's attire, symbolizing her role as a caretaker and nurturer. Tosi is revered as the patroness of midwives and healers. Her worship involves rituals of purification and renewal, emphasizing her connection to the cycles of health and regeneration. Tanansin Tanansin, our sacred mother, is a title given to various mother goddesses, including the Virgin of Guadalupe in later syncretizations. As a nurturing and protective figure, Tanansin embodies the Earth's fertility and sustenance. Her veneration reflects the deep reverence for the feminine divine as a source of life and guidance, linking ancient Aztec beliefs with enduring themes of motherhood and protection. Tonortiu Tonortiu is the sun god, central to the Aztec pantheon as the deity driving the sun across the sky. He is depicted as a fierce warrior with a face painted red, carrying a shield and a spear, demanding human sacrifices to continue his journey across the sky. His role is pivotal in the Aztec universe, symbolizing the light that brings life, but also the relentless demand for sacrifice and renewal, embodying the concept that life is sustained through constant struggle and sacrifice. Tepoztecatl Tepoztecatl is the god of pulque, a fermented beverage, and also associated with fertility and agricultural abundance. Often depicted carrying tools used in the fermentation process, he embodies the social and ceremonial importance of pulque, which played a central role in rituals and communal gatherings. Tepoztecatl's myths often highlight themes of transformation and the nurturing aspects of the earth, celebrating the gift of sustenance and the joys of life. Tlazoteotl Tlazoteotl is a goddess of fertility and purification, known for her power to absolve sins and cleanse the soul. She is often depicted in birthing posture, symbolizing renewal and the cycle of life. Tlazo Teotl's role as a purifier involves rituals where confessors would reveal their sins to her priests, seeking absolution. This process underscores the importance of purification and the belief in the possibility of renewal and redemption. Zeep Totek Zeep Totek, our Lord the Flayed One, is the god of rebirth, agriculture and seasons symbolizing the death of the old and the birth of the new. He is depicted wearing a flayed human skin, representing the agricultural cycle shedding and renewal. Zeepsotek's festivals involved gladiatorial sacrifices and the wearing of flayed skins, dramatic rituals that underscored the themes of death, transformation and rejuvenation inherent in the cycle of life. Shiutakutli Shiutakutli, the god of fire and time, is depicted as an old man carrying a brazier or a torch, embodying the eternal flame that sustains and consumes life. As the lord of volcanoes and the hearth, he symbolizes the warmth that nurtures life and the destructive force of fire. Shiutakutli's role encompasses the passage of time, the cycle of seasons, and the fire's dual nature as a source of life and a harbinger of destruction. Sochipili Sochipili, the Prince of Flowers, is the god of art, games, beauty, dance, flowers and song, often depicted with a joyous expression surrounded by flowers, symbolizing the pleasures of life and the beauty of the natural world. His role celebrates the creative and expressive aspects of human culture, emphasizing the importance of joy, creativity and the arts in connecting humanity with the divine. Sochipili's worship underscores the belief that beauty and pleasure are sacred gifts to be cherished and shared. Xochiquetzal Xochiquetzal, the goddess of beauty, love, fertility, flowers and the arts, is depicted as a young, enchanting figure, 
often surrounded by butterflies and flowers, symbolizing her dominion over the delicate and beautiful aspects of life. She encourages the creation of art and poetry, and her role in fertility rites underscores the connection between love, life and growth. Shochi Quetzal's myths often involve her being pursued by other gods, reflecting her desirability and the universal quest for beauty and creative inspiration. Xolotl Xolotl is the god of lightning, death and monsters, often depicted as a man with the head of a dog, associated with the evening star, Venus, and seen as a twin and companion to Quetzalcoatl. His role is to guide the dead to the underworld, and he represents change, transformation, and the renewal that comes through destruction. Xolotl's duality as both protector of the sun and a guide to the underworld embodies the Aztec belief in the necessity of balance between light and darkness, or life and death. Yachachyacutli Yachachyacutli, the god of merchants and travellers, is often depicted carrying a staff and a bundle, symbolising the journeys undertaken by traders. He is invoked by those seeking protection on long journeys, and by merchants looking for success in their endeavours. Yachatlakutli's role emphasises the importance of commerce and communication between different cultures and regions, celebrating the spirit of adventure and the connections forged through trade. Zarkatzontli Zarkatzontli, the Aztec deity of the day road, serves as a protector of merchants and travellers, guiding them with the symbolic strength of an eagle that represents the sun. He is distinctively depicted, holding a staff in his left hand for guidance and a backpack filled with Quetzal feathers in his right, signifying the richness and beauty of the paths travelled. His role extends beyond mere protection. He embodies the spirit of exploration and commerce, drawing a parallel with the Mayan god Ekshuaj. Zarkatzontli's unique depiction and associated legend highlight his importance in safeguarding those on their travels ensuring prosperity and safe passage on the roads under the watchful eye of the sun. And that's our journey through the Aztec gods, a fascinating glimpse into ancient beliefs. If you found this intriguing, please like, subscribe and click the bell for more insights into history and mythology. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next exploration. Yours truly, Mythos the Historian.